On tonight's episode of Fatting Around with Matthew Cracklow 23, we're doing something a little different. Uh, this is Random News Crawl Edition 1, where I just put on a news feed and we're just kind of forced to, uh, you know, we try a little different formats. And most of the time I pick some stuff beforehand that I find interesting and then I comment on it. But uh, for the TikTok videos, it's more of kind of random and then sometimes spontaneously commenting on stuff uh, makes for better content sometimes. So I thought we'll try that. Um, it's kind of in a TikTok style, but instead of news clips, I just have some news clips there in the background and give my comments. And here it is, Fatting Around with Matthew Kreklau, episode 23. And uh, these clips, courtesy of ABC News, here we go, uh, owned by Walt Disney Company, 2023. And this is fair use, because as you can see, you know, this ain't the whole video, you know, you can't hear that audio, and... That's a television you're looking at. This ain't no video, child. So, um, so let's get to it. Let's start with the lighthearted topic that no one has a strong opinion on: abortion. So, Texas court poses tests. Um, yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know why why it got uh, repealed. It seems like not. Why is this such a complicated issue? Like, didn't they already decide, like, you have a right to get an abortion, like, within, like, the first three or four weeks? Like, why don't we just stick with that? I don't understand. So it looks like. Oh, I see what they're saying. So this court's making it harder for the Plan B pill to uh, be produced. I heard Walgreens was refusing to sell it in some states. Oh, she's pretty cool. She's like one of the main uh, political people on ABC News. Look at that purple. Ooh, that is. That is, uh, is it the chick running the kangaroo court stuff? Oh, no. Is that, that's not a, no, no, no. There's no way they got an actual anthropomorphic kangaroo in a mascot costume. Because having someone in a kangaroo in a mascot costume marching with you, it, that's definitely what would help. And it would honestly get things going. It would actually fix everything to just get someone to dress up in a giant fucking kangaroo costume and call it the kangaroo fucking court. But guys, I don't think it's going to happen. I just, it's too ridiculous. Far beyond abortion. I think if these plaintiffs are successful in getting the district court to essentially override the scientific judgment of the FDA, then you know, the <sighs> in terms of what kinds of scientific questions could be subject to this is just ridiculous. I don't under like. <sighs> they just always let religion muddy this so much, and that's a big issue. Where two pills are being taken. To intentionally end the life of a whole living human being. Kristen Hawkins is the president. Of <coughs> I'm sorry, it's by definition not a whole living human being. It's like presence at nearly every major abortion event. Is that your Life starts like when you come out of the pussy. I'm sorry. That's how it. That's how you. You don't say, "Hey, my one year old's one month and not." He's actually he's almost two now because he's one year and nine months in the belly. No, you go by when he comes out the puss puss. Well, that was TVception. That's who we needed to be in. Yeah, that is that is exactly who, you know what, this is a breath of fresh air. That is exactly the face we need to be regulating women's health care. Conservative 
50 year old men. That is that is who we need to be regulating women's health care, guys. A panel of five men. Apply the law as it is written, regardless of my religious beliefs. Yes, I think that is part of your advising consent function. That just seems so tone deaf. Not, there's not even a woman in the room. No exaggeration. Why are these men so obsessed with women in their puss puss? Like, just let her do what she's gonna do with that thing. I well, yes, I agree. I, 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 yes, I am quite good. Oh, whoa, TV set. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, is Disney taking a shit on me? Like, what the? That's weird when it, like, zooms out onto, like, the production prompter. <laughs> Oh, that's that sounds like the name of a fucking pray the gay away deaf camp. Christian Family Friends and Hope Services. As in, only twenty kids kill themselves a day at Christian Friends and Family Hope Services. Uh, you see, why does he keep doing that? That's weird. You think it's like the biggest, it's just, it's just the biggest company on the planet and they can't get their news to not be choppy. <laughs> Yeah, when fanning around with Matthew Crackle episodes start having higher production than Disney, that that's getting scary. As you can tell, my setup is state of the art. I'll give you a little secret. I put on the TV and I, I I put a phone camera toward it, and then and then I like talk about this shit. Yeah, see, it just I feel like o the only way that anything would get done is if they just got someone in a kangaroo costume, but they're not gonna do it though. They're not gonna do it. They need to go in the kangaroo court. See, I, why are they, see? You'd think the kangaroo would be inter more interesting than whatever the fuck they're showing. <laughs> <sighs> How much plastic do you use from the device that you're watching this on, the furniture in your home, and countless other everyday objects? Plastics are all around. I'm actually made of plastic myself. Really? I honestly would not have guessed Rob Riggle was the comedian. It's starring Rob Riggle? Wow. This is interesting. I dude, there's so many episodes of Joe Rogan. I bet you right now we could find 30 minutes of compilation of just specifically Rob Riggle and Joe Rogan talking about plastic. I feel like that's maybe where he got the interest. I know he tendentially talks to Joe Rogan. I know Joe Rogan talks about the plastic and the the bioplastics in us a lot. So. Is he referring to people like Joe Rogan? I wasn't really listening. I guess maybe referring to the younger generation in general. I didn't realize the, the magnitude of pollution. It's insane. There's, you know, the, the garbage island the size of Texas. This phone is filmed on plastic. You sit on a plastic couch watching this through your plastic laptop. You get out of a plastic cup and you just got your plastic car set. Yeah. Yeah. It's all plastic. Okay, what am I supposed to do? You know, what do you want from me? Was my mindset. Um, but as I as I spent time with James, and, and, and well, you can't have that mindset. We got to think about: Do we want our child, our grandchildren, even have an earth to come to? Ooh, this is some. Of, that's one of the coolest shots we've channels had so far. It's such a cool fish to eat. I mean, a <laughs> coral reef. Nature's fish tank. Boop, boop. You know, this this might be a good watch. It's a very interesting choice for it. Um, hmm. Good on him, man. That's pretty cool. Wow. A lot of the plastics we use today are petroleum-based plastics. It's just because they're inexpensive. 
Well, my, I, that's another thing I hate when people. Is there's more things to life than money. Mm. Wow, it's a long time. That's backing up our oceans, it's backing up our landfills, it's causing all kinds of methane problems in our landfills. So by having some sort of uh, bioplastic, uh, we decrease that 10 times, 10x all this stuff. Uh, and it can make a real difference. And, and of course, when we think about certain objects like plastics or... Oh, trash mountain. In terms of our clothes, right? And clothes are rarely recycled, and you will also address that as well. In the United hmm. States, the reality is that only 1% of clothing gets recycled back into new clothing. Wow. And the reason why is because most of the clothes we wear is blended. It's mostly polyester and cotton blended together. Our solution is different because we can take those poly cotton blends and break them apart. So are huh. any plastics truly recyclable or biodegradable? There are some out there, yes. Uh, but, but that clip right there is such a great example of the innovation that's happening right now. Um, there's all kinds of people around the world that are working on solutions. Huh. And, and now, like I said, this is a, quite the interesting choice for this. I feel like, um, you know, it will obviously get more people to see it, so probably a good choice. That can improve... Uh, the, the state of affairs as they exist. Oh, wow. And that's when we talk huh. about, you know, what people can do, what practical things that we can do, and the idea of recycling. Well, maybe actually recycle this shit. Like, you put the shit in the blue bin, it goes to the landfill anyway. So it's like... And I guess it's a matter of oh. saying paper versus plastic as well. You know, I, I, I live in California, and I remember when they came out with, well, we're going to do away with plastic straws. I, I rolled my eyes. I was like, oh, for the love of goodness, would you quit? You know what? It, it, this doesn't matter. Then I got to pay 10 cents for a plastic bag. I used to get frustrated by this stuff. And when, when you see the problem, when you look at the footage in this film of the oceans, and, and that is every single day the tonnage of plastic just being dumped in the landfills of our oceans, you realize, oh, we have to do something. It has to start somewhere. And this is a great place to do this. Wow. Don't matter. Robert, thank you so much. Appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, glad they're moving on to something else. Uh, anywhere you can buy movies. And that huh. is our show for this hour. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to watch a little bit more. It's going to be about a 30 minute episode. And when it gets to commercials, I'm going to put it onto a little painting my mom did. She's in high school. And I'll just uh, mute the commercials real quick and then. Uh, if the next new segment, if they're just are playing an exact loop of what we just watched, we won't watch it. And then on this one, just make it a 15 minute or but the commercials will probably be a couple minutes, so they'll just uh, discuss what we just watched a little bit. Um uh th- no, we didn't watch that much the last 13 minutes, just uh basically about plan B getting uh banned and um. Uh, yeah, that was that was mainly it in the plastic roof segment. So, but yeah, it's too. That, yeah, it's just yeah. We we want you know we gotta be the change you want to see in the world and. Yeah, uh, it still adds at the moment. Uh, I wonder. Um. Obviously. Um. Uh, Obviously, it was tempting to make today's episode um, about the one subject I haven't touched on yet, which I pretty much, when you go through, like, the news-type episodes of Fang Around with Matthew Cracklow, you probably realize I, I tend to, like, you know, basically anything could be on the show, but just, um, I haven't really talked, I literally think almost, maybe, no exaggeration, five minutes tops on um anything to do with the Russian Ukraine war. My only made a paid out is obviously um I'm not rude for Russia. Um but yeah it's just it's it's uh that's pretty scary and I can too bad I think especially like some of the stuff Russia's doing is uh not to like especially and, you know I don't want to say this because it's it's what Russians were saying about the Ukrainians to justify the conflict in the first place, but they're doing extremely Nazi type stuff, especially um when it comes to like bombing of like 
children's hospitals. Like it's like they have to keep getting lower and lower. Are they gonna ban the crippled children the orphanage next? Like it's like can it get lower? But um, no, I don't honestly see there being any way Russia wins. It's like. Like, honestly, like, fuck, even almost the Russian propaganda about the war is almost still negative about how they're doing. Like, fuck, it's like there's, there's not really a great way to spin how they're doing right now. Uh, they they obviously are not into the next phase of this war. Uh, it's, yeah, it's not going well for them. I think we underestimated how uh, patriotic that country is. Um, I, there's, I feel like it's, not many, I think America and Ukraine, that's something they have almost identical in common is their amount of patriotism. They're both extremely, extremely patriotic nations that care um, about their, you know, right to exist. So, yeah, I really don't hope, you know, I really hope that Putin does not, you know, wipe him off the map. But guys, we're back to the news. I believe it's some new stuff. Uh, yeah, we haven't really watched much, so looks like some uh, weather stuff. So let's get into it. <sighs> oh wow, that's a uh, sinkhole. That's pretty. Ooh. <sighs> okay. Yep. Obviously, we haven't talked about this shit on the channel, so we got to get a little bit into this. <sighs> what? Oh. Now they talk about this case so often. Oh my gosh. Who burned it down? Wow. Wow. Who cares? Come on, ABC News. You could do a little bit better than that. Oh, well, Ben, ben Affleck was frowning at the Grammys. And then another thing. Ben Affleck frowning at the Grammys. This is... Guys, this is an old news footage. This is from this week. This is from today. This is the world news now from today, guys. Which I'm actually a pretty big fan of, but... Why wouldn't they talk about the Oscars? Like, the Grammys happened three freaking weeks ago. How many did you fill out? Just two, actually, this year. But you know, the one that I got rolling is the Miami Hurricanes. Hopefully they get some luck. Are you going to go all the tonight? tonight? Nah. Uh, tickets are you can tell he really doesn't actually like basketball and just the, like Disney's like pitching him with like a pitchfork saying ESPN mention it mention it <laughs> I just hate when people pretend to be interested in sports when they're obviously not oh my oh I thought he was going to do some kind of stupid joke Is that trying to imply that they're not binge drinking at 6.15 a.m. in Ireland? They definitely are. <laughs> Dude, on St. Patrick's Day, I'm surprised half the country's alive at the end of the day. Damaging hail and wind pummeled parts of North Texas as tornado warnings were issued. Holy bulbous. Major storm. Dude, why? There's been so much crazy weather this year. What? I have this Mandarin orange for reference. Hail damaged several vehicles outside while the roof fell on a car inside. The fuck? Wow. Wow. Well, yeah, if the, if the literal earth's opening up below you, it might be a little scurry. Yeah, these are land, these are specifically uh, erosion. It looks like landslides and sinkholes. Whoa. That is insane. 
repairs to what? the Kroger home have yet to be completed. The good news, after all these storms, some relief from the historic <laughs> western drought. Only 36% of California is now in drought. Why don't they turn it into like a lake or something? And 95% back in January. It's already a hole, so just, just saying. We'll see more heavy rain next week. With that, let's get today's forecast details from AccuWeather's Kevin Cosper. Kevin, good morning. I actually had no idea AccuWeather was at all affiliated with Disney. Watch out for a few. I, they obviously are. This guy, this guy almost seems like he's not an actual weatherman for some reason. It's weird because, like, this weather segment feels very, very local, as if only like 30 or 40 people are watching it. This is probably one of the top news streams in America right now that I'm watching. All right, Kevin, thank yeah, that, you for that. There are new revelations huh, this morning uh, about what was going on at First Republic as concerns grew about the stability of the nation's banks. The Wall Street Journal reports the bank's top executives well, yeah. spent nearly $12 million in stocks Oof. just this year. Some of it just two days after the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. First Republic has not commented about the sales. They were disclosed hours after First Republic received a lifeline from other banks. ABC's Rachel Scott has details. Whoa. A lifeline for First Republic, with 11 of the country's biggest banks unveiling a rescue plan to pump $30 billion in deposits to prop up the struggling bank. Whoa. We're saying the move reflects their confidence in the country's banking system. It comes amid growing worry about the stability of regional banks after the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. I do think that because of the panic that people felt in Silicon Valley Bank, they have also sparked the panic with First Republic Bank. I don't think there's a big risk that there's a dollar effect. First Republic's credit rating was downgraded into so-called junk territory. Uh, junk. It stopped plunging for days. Even as the bank tried to reassure customers, still some were worried. It's scary. Lining up at bank branches to move their money out. <sighs> yes, we already... Technically, we've already heard this exact story once, so forgive me if they're just playing the exact same footage. They kind of are. But they are it's not, they're, they're showing the videos in slightly different order, but yeah, it's the same story we looked at. I think at the very beginning of the episode. It's going a little more in-depth, though. <laughs> but yeah, like that. Yeah, here, this is the new part. ...larger banks demonstrates the resilience of our banking system. Rachel Scott, ABC News, Capitol Hill. Rachel, huh, thank you. Yep. The special yeah. counsel in the Trump classified document. This I'm very interested in. Dozens of people who work at Mar-a-Lago. That's according to CNN, which reports they range from dining room servers to some of Trump's closest aides. CNN cites one source who says special counsel Jack Smith deliberately is casting a wide net to find out what they may have seen or heard in the months after huh. Trump left the White House. Well, protests have erupted across France after President Macron ordered a rise in the retirement age without a vote. The president claims raising the retirement age from 62 to 64 is necessary to huh. save the country's pension system from going bankrupt. Macron invoked a constitutional provision. That yeah, it's so weird how so many major European countries are in so bad financial turmoil. Like, really bad. Enveloped Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Yeah, it's, wow. been, it's been four years. The images were so heartbreaking uh, for some of them. That's so sad. The cathedral's iconic spire until the 750 ton structure wow. finally just collapsed. That is sad. Now, the first major phase of the spire's restoration is underway in a workshop outside of Paris, building the so called basement or stool which supports the spire. After collecting the right kind of oak for months, arsons are using some of the original woodworking techniques to recreate some of the elements lost in the fire. Of course, that authenticity is so important, right? Because this fire's been around since, oh, I don't know. A long time. Very long time. A and very if, long time. So if all goes according to schedule, it's expected to reopen in December of 2024. Did you see it in person before the fire? No, no. I've never been to, uh, never been to Paris. No. So I saw it in person, and it's one of those things that is just as breathtaking as you imagine it. Mm -hmm. Like, pictures don't even do it justice. Oh, so wow. I can't wait to see it back yeah. in its full glory. And you know, wow. 24, I mean, all things considered, that's a pretty quick turnaround yeah. for something so historic. Okay, coming up, a St. Patrick's Day pop quiz with a real Irishman. Yes, plus... <laughs> he looks too happy to be there. Oh, shut the... If he's referencing the stupid fucking Netflix movie... What? Let me... Who? Rob... Uh, 
I feel like we all really need the Abba News segment in our life, guys, but I feel like this has been been the episode it's going to be, so... Uh, yeah, let's just have Abba play us out. Um, as always, why the hell are you watching this? Like, comment, and subscribe, and... Uh, there's the Patreon link in the description. No one signed up yet. I just started it. Um, I'm going to bore you for a second about what you'll get if you actually sign up, my neighbors. Um, let's see. If you sign up, um, you get the $3.99 a month. You get the two-hour private show on Sunday. The Wednesday album, our reviews. One exclusive song every single day. If you get the $5.99 a month, you get what I just said. It's the same. But it's th three ninety nine dollars a month, you just don't get the Wednesday review show. But it's practically basically, they're basically the same. Three ninety nine dollars a month. Uh, please click on the link in the description. I greatly appreciate it. It would greatly help me out until we get a little bit more popular. I hope everyone has a wonderful night.